Okay? So let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sinned against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Now let us offer one Hail Mary and Holy Mary, thanking the Lord for giving us another beautiful day. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour for death. Amen. So again, good morning. Uh, good morning. Good afternoon. So, good afternoon again. So for those... Uh, for those nga dugay nakasulod, again, kindly make sure to write your full name and your section in the in-call messages for the attendance. Okay? And then, always open your camera. So, ang atong itakol ron, as what I have mentioned earlier, is module 4. Okay? Regarding the different principles of the criminal law. So, kindly watch the recorded discussion for module 3. Okay. Hmm. I. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So there are, again there are there are three principles of our criminal law. You do have the principle of generality, you do have the principle of territoriality, and you do have the principle of prospectivity. So, karon mo na ito ang itiskas pinagsa. So, what do you mean by principle of generality of the criminal law? It simply explains under art. No, it simply explains under Article Fourteen. Under call 14, wala tsaka dyan. Love, love. Okay, under article. Let's ha, gamay na ako lang iyatag niya. Oh, Maria. Under article 14 of the civil uh, code, uh, it provides that penal laws and those of public security and safety shall be obligatory upon all who live and sojourn. When you say live, gapuyog-yod. Sojourn, temporarily staying, like having a vacation, okay, in the Philippine territory, okay, subject to the principles of the public international law and to the treaty stipulations. So, sa may bot pa sa bot ay, Ani, nga nun na ang may gisturya ane sa Article 14 of the Civil Code. Simply because your principle of generality mandates that our penal law. Hmm. Let's say. It simply explains. It simply explains that our um. Uh, principles of generality mandates our penal laws in the Philippines. When you say penal laws, our criminal law, including the special law, the revised penal code, the presidential decree, the local ordinances. Oh my gosh! Kalinga po yung classmate. Oy. So again, every time that we do have a live discussion, it's very important to join on time in order not to disrupt the momentum of the discussion. I hope we are clear with that. Okay, final period na nga muras ragyapon. Okay, so again, it states here that our law itself should, should be... Um, What's this? Shall operate to all people. When you say all people, meaning to say this does not refer to the Filipinos alone, but including aliens. When you say aliens, this refers to a non-Filipino individual. So meaning to say foreigner. As long as they commit crime within the Philippine territory. 
whether water pa na siya, whether land or whether air, as long as it is in the Philippine archipelago, automatic the laws, the domestic laws in our country shall apply. Okay, three good examples were in um, nga, the principle of generality is applied. Okay, kani balita ating 2007, di balita atong 2017. Okay, when three foreigners were arrested because of ATM scamming. Okay, mangutan na po mga po sa ATM scamming. When you say ATM scheming, can you see my screen? Dili. Wala, ma'am. Ano, wala, ma'am. Wala, ma'am. Wala, ma'am. Kana kita na? Kita na ma'am. Kita na ma'am. Kita na Okay, a very good example is an ATM skimming. Ganina na ng utana mo. Ma'am, kung ang ATM skimming? When you say ATM skimming, it is a type of... It is a type of payment card fraud. Okay, it is a way of stealing the PIN and the other informations of the credit card or the debit card by putting a device that copies the information. So, mo nang kamo, kung naamo yung ATM, for sure nakabantay mo that there is always a reminder that is placed in the flash on the monitor of the ATM machine. Nga mo ingon that you need to cover your PIN. Your, uh, you need to cover while putting your PIN number or do not share your PIN number, card number, so on and so forth. So, in this given example, makita na to, that, um, what's this? That the principle of generality is applied. Kay foreigners were arrested in Pampanga. That is way back 2017. Another good example, sorry. Another good example is When a Chinese woman was arrested, kaya nga naman, yahang gilabayan o taho ang Osaka police officer in the MRT. So this is a disrespect of the police officer. So sa naitabo, the Chinese woman, nangayo dahil yun o pasaylo. But then again, the damage has been done. Okay? So mo din siya giingon, ignorance of the law excuses no one. So though na ay mga rights ta, But then again, such right has also certain limitations. Same with the principle of generality, though the general rule states that the law itself in the Philippines, the penal laws in the Philippines is applied to all people, but there is an exempt... My God. Wait a Again, it is very important to join the class on time. Okay? Kung dugay magsulod, you're disrupting, no? Disrupting the momentum of the discussion. Next time, I will no longer admit students nga sige raglate. As what I have mentioned ganina, principle of generality under its general rule, it mentioned that the penal laws is applied to all people. Okay. So, in every general rule, there is always an exemption. Usa may exemption niya. Ang exemption niya covers the principles of uh, international law and the law of preferential application. So, let us discuss binagsa unsa man siya. When you say principle of international law, I will give you a copy.
When you say principle of the night, ulam sa kalendar dali, dali, kalendar, kalendar dali. Iko sa kus, kalendar dali. Ibang asa na tulog ng kalendar. Ah, principles of international law in the Philippines. Ah, simply ah tells us that there are certain individuals who are not ah held liable for the crime or infractions na ilahang makumit as kung naa sila diri sa Pilipinas. Okay? So, sa turun. Kinsa man ni sila nga nga kung ay, na ay immunity. Okay? Una, mga sovereign. Okay. So, muta na mo ma'am. Kung sa mga examples of sovereigns. Okay. Okay. Okay, so when you say sovereign, it refers to the supreme ruler. So in the Philippines alone, kinsa may pinaka supreme na to dere nga na immunity sa crime. It is the president. So ang president na nasa immunity. So mo na kasagaran. I do not know if you were able to notice the trend. The moment kama human ang term of presidency sa usaka president, diha na mangkawas ang dagdan ka ayong mga cases that is being filed. Ngano after the man sa term? Because as long as nagkungku pa nasa as the president, na nasa immunity. Okay. Another is. Um, heads of the chief of the state, ambassadors, ministers, uh, charge the affair, and consular officers. These are people nga uh, exempted on the general principles in the criminal law. However, in the case of the consular officers, only if ang ilahang pag commit of infractions or a criminal act is in performance of their duty or during the exercise of their function. But if it is not related to their function as the consular officer, dili siya mabilong sa principle of international law. Aside from that, ma-apply po na to ang exemption exemptions on the principle of generality is the law of preferential application. So, under Article 349 of the RPC or Revised Penal Code, it punishes bigamy. Maybe you're asking, ma'am, what is bigamy? Bigamy is contracting to another marriage wherein your first marriage is still valid or recognized by law. So, part of the element of bigamy The crime of bigamy under the revised penal code ni ingon dali that the offender has been legally married. Usay has been legally married, nakasal na sa laing laki, nakasal na sa laing dahi. And the marriage has not been legally dissolved. Meaning to say, wala pa na anal. Because here in the Philippines, wala man tay divorce. The only way to dissolve the the, the validity of marriage is through Annulment. Okay? Ang legal separation, it does not dissolve the, the validity of marriage. It's only through annulment. Another requirement that he contracts to a second or subsequent marriage. Kasi but pasabot. Hindi ka sa sinugdanan. Minyo ka, nga lalaki o babae, pagka man imuhang kasal, wapan ay imuhang marriage, wapan na anal, dahil yung nagpakasal ka sa laing laki na po or bae. Diyong sunod na po, nag, or pwede po nga nagpakasal na po kayo ikatulo sa laing laki or bay wherein ang imuhang first marriage or even your second marriage wa pa na disol. So, as you can see, muna siya yung the elements of bigamy here in the Philippines. In terms of the punishment, uh, shall be sentenced to a range of 6 years and 1 day to 12 years. So that is presyon mayor and that is considered as an afflictive penalty. When you say afflictive, okay? When you say afflictive penalties, these are penalties that is given to grave offenses. Okay, presyon, my God, presyon mayor, ay presyon mayor man siya. So that is an afflictive penalty. 
Oke. Okay. Asal mampu turun. Oh, nawala na tong wapil unta. Okay. Another. However, this provision is not applicable to the Muslim. Ngano dili applicable Muslim? Because ang Muslim who are married in accordance to their Muslim law or their Quran, particularly PT 10.8.3 or the Code of Muslim Personal Law. So, ang ato ang mga Muslim brothers, they are subjected to the laws of preferential application. Particularly, kanang itawag na itong bigami. Kaya kung ikaw, dili ka uh, Muslim, okay, buot pa sa buot, kinahanglan, ang imuha, magpakasal ka, dapat ikaw usara. You need, kinahanglan pang mu-wait ka that your first marriage is ma-dissolve before you ka contract to another marriage sa laing laki or laing bahi. However, based on the code of Muslims sa ilang personal law, ang mga Muslims are allowed na mag naasilay Uh, I, I think abut o tulo or opat pa na ka asawa. In the case sa male. But in the case for the female, they can only have one husband. Unless their husband died mo nang pwede silang magpakasal. Uglain na pong Muslim. Okay? So, mo siya example of law of preferential application. Kaya nga naman, gisunod man nila ilahang kuran. So, in terms put with the other crimes committed, ang ato ang mga Muslim brother na po sila ilang kaugalingon na court. That is why we do have the so-called Sharia. Hmm. That is why we do have the so-called Sharia courts in the Philippines. Ang Sharia courts is a court intended for the Muslim because ang ilahang gigamit is ilahang personal law or the so-called Bible or the Quran. Ang kanang Sharia court that is equivalent to the RTC. When you say RTC, it refers to the Regional Trial Court. Monang equivalent ana diri sa uh, sa sa kuan sa dili pang Muslim RTC. Aming, you're very early for the next subject, Aming. Sorry, ma'am. Gigan mo mga drive, mga drive. Pamang ko, ma'am. Noted. Okay, another is prospectivity. Tisa, before we proceed, do you have any questions or clarifications on the principle of generality sa criminal law? Naawa. Naawa la. Hmm? Claro, ra? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Well, Yes, what's your question? About atong sa Muslim, ma'am, naradya po limit ilang pakaslan, ma'am? Yeah. Dapat dili sila mo more than what is required in their Quran. If I think they can only contract until four, at three or four, i-check na to. I think it's three na ga ito or four ba po. Naraan na. Dapat dili sila mula pa because umula pa sila lahi na po na. But then again, dili lagi applicable ang ato ang RPC ana because they are following their own law. Okay? In respect to the uh, multicultural differences, remember nga ang Muslim, they do have their own, uh, what's this, faith of religion. So they, the way of kuan dealing to infractions and um, Uh, say, tawag, breach of their Quran, ang ilahang gigamit is their Bible. Okay? Their Quran. Muna yung nasa lila, again, ilahang kaugalin yung na court, which is the Sharia. Follow up question, please. So, dili eh, day, as long as mabuhi nila ng ilang pakasdan, ma'am. Dili, uy. Yeah, of course. Dili, pwede makabot sa lagbainte. No, sabah. So, pagtuunin nyo. Dili, uy. Naray, maximum. Three, three, that's what I'm O, oh, 3 ko nun, i-confirm. O, oh, 3 na ko nun, taman. Ang na na. So, dili na na pwedeng mula pa pa because if they do, if they do so, uh, in violation na na sa ilang tinuhutan. Okay? Another yeah, question? Katong sa mga bayi, ma'am, if 
ang katong mga laki mamulong magpakasal sa laing baye sila ma'am pwede ra pud sila mangita ra pud ma'am Dili, as what I have mentioned, ang babae, they can only contract to one legal koan. Yes. So just for in case, nagpakasal siya, di mo na matay iyahang ban na, ninaailaing koan, matigminyo niya, as long as their tradition is being followed, pwede na po siya magpakasal. Dili pa rin sa lalaki that is allowed by their koran, okay, by their personal law, na makaabot o kuan uh, simultaneously abot o tulog ka asawa. O oh, ma'am, hmm? if ka nang naa sila yung mga anak, kuan ka nang ang mga lalaki mo yung support kahit nga po siya sa ilang unang kaya yung gabi ko na. Ah, yes, yes, that is o. Nga naman lang. Kanong magumariya yung mga tulong ko na. Ayaw lagi pagdula ang anak. Na wan ah, hapak na ang anak. Okay? Yes, that is correct. Kaya dili ma po ka makaasawa o lain, kung dili ka financially capable. So, usama po niya sa ilang kuan po, uh, ginafollow sa ilang Bible, that if you want to have two wives kinahanglan, you need to equally support sa imuhang asawa. Not only in terms of finances, but even a manhood or manly obligation sa lalaki papunta sa babae. Munang gina... Kulalab o... Mau nagi kuan, mau nagi na schedule na oh, sa Monday ane siya dere, sa Tuesday ane siya dere, sa Thursday ane siya dere. Ina na bagi by schedule, and they are all living in the same roof. Asam tu. Hello. Question. Are you still okay? So kinang lang na, kay kung ikaw pud Muslim ka niya, udip ka capable na makabuhi sa imong duwa ka sa wadi Japan Japan. So, kinanglan man, you can provide. Okay? And dapat, wives, the wives and the children, kinahanglan, they are equally supported. Okay? So, let us continue. So, now let's proceed with the prospectivity. Okay? Prospectivity principle of the criminal law. Kasi, giingon dari, that it provides that the criminal law penalizes crimes committed on or after its effectivity. Again, provides that a crime, criminal law penalizes crimes uh, committed on or after its effectivity. So under Article 21 of our RPC, it provides that no felony shall be punishable in the penalty not prescribed prior to to its commission. Kung sa'y buot pasabot, na kung sa panahon nga nag-commit ni mo ang crime, dili, uh, nag-commit ni mo ang act, dili pa na siya punishable by law. Example, nag-commit ni mo by uh, uh, karon sa marang date, aron. November 17 ay 18 day. For example, nag-commit ni mo karon ang ang act itself, December, uh, November 18, the yung pagka the following month, Nahimo ng uh, punishable by law ang act na imo ang gibuhat. Dili, but pa sa but anang prospectivity, dili ka pwedeng panisyan sa usa ka act nimo nga sa panahon nga imo ang gibuhat, dili pa siya considered as a crime. That is the simple kuan, that is the simple concept of prospectivity. As long as sa panahon nimo siyang gibuhat, it is not yet considered as a crime. Dili ka pwedeng panisyan kung naanay balaod na maghimahala. Okay? So, walay retroactive effect. Except if it is favorable on the accused or the suspect. So, a general rule. Laws shall have a prospective application so that they shall not acquire the character of an ex post facto law. So, ang pangutana, kung sa ang ex post facto, remember na ang ex post facto law, nakabutang niya sa ato ang Article 3 of the Bill of Rights, particularly Section 22. Niingon dito that no ex post facto law shall be um enacted. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Wait, sa niwala. Awa, 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 awa. Hmm. Awa, awa. Asa kwasil pun. Papa, kwasil pun. 
Okay. Again, your ex post facto law means having a retroactive effect or force. Kaya ba iyahang balikan? Oh, dili na siya pwede. Except that it is again favorable on the accused itself. So a very good example for this: a law that makes a chewing gum illegal and requires the arrest of every person who has ever chewed. Unsay but pa sabot ane? No, a law that makes chewing gum illegal. Okay, so example, bawal ko nung mag, magkaon ng chewing gum. And requires the arrest of every person who has ever, usay but pa sabot ane, nga ipa-arrest ang mga tao nga naka sulay o kaon o bubble gum bisan pa sa panahon na wa pa na-create ang balaon. So this is an example of an ex, yes, So, this is an example of an ex post facto, meaning to say na ay retroactivity. Retroactivity. But pasabot iyahang balikan. So, sa under sa Philippine Constitution, Article 3, Bill of Rights, klaro ka ay yung giingon dito na the legislative shall not be allowed to create an ex post facto. And even the Bill of a Tinder, dili po na siya bawal. So, ang bill of a tinder na ito, islahin ko na siya. Ang bill of a tinder means, okay, pakita. Okay, bill of a tinder, a tinder means nga, kanyang, you are being punished even if ang uh, mga, wala pa kagitagaan ng opportunity to defend yourself. So, again, it is a legislative act, singled out or more person impose punishment on them without the benefit of trial. So, that is the meaning of Bill of Attainder. So, under the Philippine Constitution, the same section, Section 22, giprotectaran ko mo na wala joy mahitabo ng Bill of Attainder. Kinahanglan that all trials, that all giving of judgment, kinahanglan trial should be conducted prior to the giving of judgment. Okay. Ma'am, permission to speak? Yes, go ahead. Katong imong example na for, kanang mupakalit trag, kanang palakad o glo na dili pa din mukha o nagbubble gum ang tanang din. Tanang nakasulag ka o bubble gum. What if minor? Hmm. Muna niya akong giingon ganina. That is the concept of retroactivity. That is the concept of um, ex post facto. Mabi na niingong ko, nga bawal ka ayong nga maghimo ang ato ang kuan, ang ato ang taga-legislative nga maghimo sila og law nga na ay ex post facto. Okay? They can only, though they, they are allowed to make a law that has an ex post facto effect, provided nga it is favorable. But if it is against, based on the given example katong, Nagimog balaod nga kabahin nga bawal na ang pagchu o bubble gum. Yan ingon dito nga tanang nakachu o bubble gum before prior to the creation of the law, the appeal of arrest. So we are protected by that in the Philippine Constitution. Bawal na siya kaayo. No ex post facto law. Pero provided, pwede rang buhaton provided nga it is favorable. Like for example, uh, ibutang na to nga na at example na ha. Example nga na-adjoy, tinuod nga balaod nga nagbawal sa pagchu o bubble gum. Nga, katong when the law itself was created, ang iyahang punishment, ay iyahang punishment is, kuan, ang term of imprisonment is, ibutang na to 6 years, and the fine is 100, uh, kuan, 5,000. Pero a law was then created, no, amending the, the term of imprisonment and amending the fine. Gikan sa 6 years, gi mo na lamang 1 year. Dayong, gikan sa 5,000, gi mo na lamang 1,000. If that is an example of the law, pwede ka ayaw nga nag-expose facto. Kaya nga naman, it is favorable to the actors. It is favorable to the, uh, what's this? To the, yes, favorable to the accused or favorable to the prisoner. Pero if it is against, dili pwede. Uh, Nagkasinabot ra ba ta? Wala. Yes, ma'am. All right. What if, ma'am, nang naimiglo, di ba, gastigod nag bawal mag-itchew ang tuwing gam? What if kung iarang dritchog kaon, ma'am? Again, that was just an example of 
how to on how to create a law with an ex post facto effect. Pero sa tinuod wa ina nang balaod. Okay? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. So again, klaruhon na to ah. Wala tayong problema dito sa Pilipinas regarding the yeah, ex post facto yeah. effect of law because we are protected in the Philippine Constitution. But then again, there are instances where an ex post facto of law is is approved by the president provided that it is favorable to the accused. Okay, or probably gikan sa criminal act it decriminalize o kana okay ra pud siya. So, as what I have mentioned earlier, in every general rule, there is always an exemption. Mo na siya yung usa sa mga exemption. Una, when the law is favorable to the accused who is not a habitual delinquent. So, pwede silang again, pwede maging mo o balaod nga na yung ex post facto effect provided nga it is again favorable to the accused nga daily habitual delinquent. Another, when an act itself decriminalizes by a law. O sibut pa sa butani, gikan sa usaka act which is punishable by law, gi decriminalize wala na gihimong crime. So, pwede kayo ang ex post facto of law na. Another thing. So for example, what if natay balaod nga nagingon bawal mag selfie? O example ra ha, nga bawal mag selfie. Selfie is considered as a crime. O if another law is created nga moingon nga Dili na considered as crime mag mag self -free. So, that will fall under paragraph 2 when the act itself decriminalizes a certain uh, a certain act. So, pwede ang ex post facto of law. Ay favorable, manja po siya sa accused. Another, when the law expressly provides for its retroactivity. Okay. Another thing. So, we should always remember that laws are a general rule shall have a prospective application. However, they can be applied retroactively if the following conditions are met. Kung sa man una, kinahanglan, again, di ba, as a general rule, bawal ka ayo ang uh, prospectivity. Di ba? Pero, naa siya exemption. Una, provided that it is favorable of the accused, provided that the law decriminalizes the act, or provided that there is an express retroactive application of the law on the provision sa balaod. So these are the two um, exemptions under the prospectivity principle of the criminal law. Pangutana before we continue. Uy, pangutana before we continue. Questions? Are you still there? No, ma'am. Everything is fine. Clear. All right. Good. Kuya Wan ka. Okay. Now, let's proceed to the last principle of the criminal law. Okay. Kani mo nindot. Territoriality. Okay. The law is binding to all crimes committed within the national territory of the Philippines. Kasi national territory, kanang naasulod sa... Nasasakupan, oh, tinagalog na, ah. nasasakupan sa ato ang country itself. Okay? So muna akong giingon na, nasulod sa Philippine Archipelago. Whether it's a water, it's an air, it's a land, as long as it is within the Philippine territory, our law itself shall be applied. That is the general rule. Okay. O sige, giingon sa Article 2. Application of its provisions, except, except, as provided in the treaties and laws of preferential application. So, nana po ni law of preferential. So, muna siya exemption. And the provisions of this code shall be enforced not only within the Philippine archipelago, but also outside its jurisdiction. We go, ma'am, di ba niyong kaganina nga within the Philippine territory? Nananaan na po yung ibutang outside the jurisdiction. Kaya naman tayo gitawag na exemption nga extra territoriality. But pasabot, even if the crime is not committed within the territory, but provided that the ship or the aircraft is registered under the Philippine law, bisan pag naitabo pa na sa Canada, ang automatic na ay primary jurisdiction over the case, over the investigation, it is the Philippines. 
again, extraterritoriality. So, the revised, the Article 2 of the RPC provided that should commit an offense while on a ship. O, oh, muna yung giingon ganina. Muna siya yung uh, example sa extraterritoriality. Extra meaning si gawas na. So, outside the jurisdiction. Should commit a crime, an offense while on a Philippine ship. Again, anus anato ma consider nga ang ship is it consider a ship or an airship is considered as under the Philippine territory. Dili but pasabot abi kay Filipino ang tagiya. Automatic it is considered as a Philippine ship. No, it should be registered here in the Philippines for a ship or an airship to be considered as under our jurisdiction. Okay, another should forge o kani kana forge counterfeit kana bang maghimo og uh, sa ato ang general term ana mo nay gitawag nato nga maghimo og fake money okay so counterfeit dili correct ang term nga fake money ha kay that is a uh, kuan a eh, kana bang layman term but eh, in criminological term ana ang correct nga tawag or correct term for a money that is not genuine, ang tawag ana is counterfeit note. Ma'am, ganun dili counterfeit money, ganun note. Kay ang tawag sa mga kwarta nga papel, okay, is considered as bank note. Ganun bank note, ma'am. Because remember, kabante mo yung kwarta? Di ba, na ay naka-imprint mga, na mga security, okay, para dili ma-counterfeit ang money. Muna siya yung mga notes nga nabutang sa bank. So, muna gitawag atong kwarta as note. So, mo yung kag, do you have 50 pesos note? Ah, so, but pasabot na kay 50 pesos. Do you have a note or bank note? Na kay kwarta, di ha? Bisag pila? Okay. Ana. Pero kung may kong nagag, this is a counterfeit note. But pasabot, the money that you are bringing is not genuine. Okay. The money that you're bringing is not genuine. Okay, so kung i-counterfeit or ang currency note in the Philippine Islands or obligation and securities issued by the government. So just for in case, that is still punishable under our principle of territoriality. Another, should be liable for the acts connected with the introduction, pagpasulod into the Philippine Island of any obligations and securities mentioned in the preceding number. Is it preceding? Kani. So, kung ang counterfeit note mo, tabang ka para ipasulod dari sa Pilipinas, ah, ah, that is a violation. Okay. Next. While being a public officer or employee should commit an offense in the exercise of their function. Kinsa na ganito, ikuan ani, exempted ani, it is only the consular nga provided put nga it is in line sa iyahang function. But if not, dili pwede. So that is, this is part of the kuan. Uh, uh, this is the part wherein even if the crime is committed outside the Philippines, still our Philippine law will apply. Question? Qualifications do you have? Pangutan na na palihog. Do you have question palihog? Ako ma'am. Yes, go ahead. Tanang law sa teritory sa kuan ma'am. Sa Philippines ba pareha sa punas laing lugar ma'am? Okay. Anang wala pa pag kuan ba sa teritory? Okay, that is correct that every state has their own um what's this? Teri, uh, si tawag, ane, territory and uh, they they also have their own extraterritoriality. Like for example, ang warship, okay? Ang warship is also an extension of territory. That does not apply only in the Philippines, but that is also applied to other countries. Okay, warship ba? Kabalo mo say warship? Kana bang sato ang oh? So kana bisan pag asa na sila mo punta, extension of their territory na. So kung na ay mahitabo, that is part of extraterritoriality. So, it is cognizable under sa ilahang palaod. Provided nga naa sa sulod sa ship na hitabo. Pero kung wala sa sulod, di, di na ma-apply. 
Another question, Kin? Do you have? Kuan, ma'am. Kanang, kung ma presidente ng mo tabang o pa ng pangitan na masulod, kahit paras itong kikuha ng China, ma'am ba? Ma, kuha na na siya, ma'am presidente. Ah, wala, wal, what do you mean? No, wala mago naghihatag sa presidente. That nag ni undergo na manggod na sa international court manggod arbitration. Wala mago naghihatag. So, karong mga panahon na, di na magood uso ang war. Dili pero na World War One World War Two Kaya kung may tabo na, naambot na lang asa tama na pig. We are not capable. Okay, ang uso rin mga peace to. So, wala mago naghihatag magood na sa ba? Kaya nga gihatag, ma'am. Well, that cannot be. So, nana, oh, naan naman na good na siya sa, naan naman good na siya sa international court. So, still waiting for the result nila. So, bisa pag ikaw mo yung mga presidente, di mo po kakahatag po, Dana. Kaya alangan po ihatag niyo mong imo mo po ng gift fight. But then we need to make sure that we do have good relationship to other neighboring states. Important thing, Russia. So yes, another question, please. Wala na? Are we good? Are we good? Yes, ma'am. Wala ni mga pangot na. Sa kanang West Philippines, ma'am. Kung ano may status na ng kuan, ma'am. As what I have mentioned, under na na siya. Amam. Gikuan na na siya. Ang sinitawag ani na 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 siya sa arbitration. So, gisang at na na nila.